All right, you guys, today I want to take a look how to make a glass text effect here in Photoshop. The size of the artboard is going to be 1080p. And first, we're going to need to set up the background. So let's go here. Let's add a solid. And I'm going to type in 4F, 4F, 4F. So basically, it's a darker gray color. Click OK. And I'm going to add another solid. And this is going to be black. Click OK. Let's go to the filter, noise, add noise, convert a smart object. Make sure to check the monochrome. And I'm going to go with the amount on 20. Click OK. Let's go to the blend mode and change it to screen. So now we've got some interesting background going on. For the font, I'm going to go with zoom edge bold italic. And the first thing you're going to need to do in order to make it glass, of course, you're going to need to decrease the fill to zero. So it's going to be invisible. Now let's double click on the glass layer. All right, so first let's go and activate the bevel and emboss. I'm going to decrease the depth all the way down. I'm going to try out with 43. Increase the soften also, all the way to 5, size 27. Let's go to shading and make sure to uncheck use global light. And here I'm going to go with 106, altitude 84. Now let's go and decrease the shadow mode all the way down to 0 because we won't need that here. I'm going to push the opacity up, 68, 70. Now I'm going to go and activate the inner glow. And we're going to turn this black. Let's select the black, click OK. And I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. So now it's going to be visible, opacity 70, choker is on zero. I'm going to increase the size 29. And beyond this, I'm also going to add inner shadow. Here I'm going to go to the opacity, decrease it to 40. Distance, I'm going to go down to 15. And the size, bring it up a little bit more. I'm going to go with 31. Now let's go and activate the setting as well. Change up the contour to this guy right here. The blend mode color is going to be on white. Click OK and change the blend mode to overlay. Distance, decrease it. So it's going to spread out all the way. And I'm going to go 26, size, decrease it, 49-ish. And decrease the opacity as well. I'm going to go all the way to 18. I'm also going to go back to the inner shadow and change this to... I'm going to uncheck use global light. And I'm going to go with 120. All right, so let's click OK. And we're going to duplicate this text layer. I'm going to drag and drop it into the plus. Now let's go and double click on the new text layer. We're going to need to remove a couple of things. Let's go and uncheck inner shadow and set in. I'm also going to uncheck inner glow. So we're going to remain with the bevel and emboss. And let's change up a couple of things here. We're going to go to the gloss contour. And let's select this one. I'm also going to go and decrease the soften all the way to two. Also the size. And check this out. This glass effect is going to go up. I'm going to leave it somewhere on 13. And I'm also going to increase the depth a little bit more. I'm going to go with 50. And I'm going to go to the opacity and decrease it because it's too strong right now. I'm going to go with 27. And now let's go and arrange the shading. I'm going to go and push these guys a little bit in a different direction. So the altitude on 80, it is going to push these light areas a little bit further. All right, so let's go and activate the inner glow. I'm going to change it to white. Click OK. Change the blend mode to overlay. And let's decrease the size. And I'm going to go with 13. Let's change up the contour to this one right here. The range is going to be 40. And I'm going to increase the opacity all the way to 90. Now let's go and add some drop shadows. I'm going to uncheck use global light. And I'm going to roll with 120. And I'm going to decrease the opacity. 58, decrease the distance all the way down to 13. Size, I'm also going to decrease this a little bit more, 21. It's looking pretty good, click OK. And I'm also going to remove the inner shadow from this and the setting. And I'm going to drag this new text layer into the plus to create a new duplicate. And from this new layer, I'm going to remove the inner glow. I'm going to drag it into the bin. Let's double click on this new layer. And let's go to bevel and emboss. Here I'm going to change up the glass contour to default and let's increase the depth. I'm going to go with 63, increase the size, 38. I'm also going to add more softness, 3. Opacity, bring it all the way up, 83. Now let's go to the shading angle and I'm going to increase it and check this out. The glass effect is going to pop out quite a bit and I'm going to decrease the altitude, 
So we're gonna push it out way further. 65 is great. I'm gonna go back to the angle and here we can experiment even more. You can decrease it. So it's gonna push the glow on the left and on the top or decrease it, but I'm gonna push it more on the left side. You can test this out however you like. Now let's go to inner shadow, change it to white, blend mode overlay, angle 120. I'm gonna decrease the distance a little bit more, 12, 11 and decrease the size on five. Opacity, 65. And now at least we're gonna go to the drop shadow back. And here we're gonna decrease the size. I'm gonna go to 10 distance, also reduce to six. And increase the opacity a little bit more. And click okay. And pretty much this is it. And if you also wanna change up the color, you can go to the adjustments and select a photo filter and change up the color here. Choose something that you like increase or decrease the density. And that's it. Thanks for watching.